It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. Man, the Dick, comedy won't stop. <laughs> Dick Gorham, where was I? Oh, I know, we're here. Uh, 20 August 2020. That's got to mean something, right, Chick? Yes. Tw- that would technically 10, be. 20, 10, 20, 20, 10, 20. Okay. Wow. 70. Next question. No. Yes. Oh, in in nice. England, it's 2010, 2020. That's so, right. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, going around the horn, we have uh, Ace, Chick, Josh, Christy, I'm Tom, there's Willie, and then in the next room, via the uh, closed-circuit television system, it's Pat Godwin. Hi, Pat. Hi. Uh, you know what? I'm just so. going to yell out tube it all morning. <laughs> okay. If things get slow. Instead of the uh, the pandas... Do you want to explain what you're, what you're referencing? No, huh? you can't. Instead of the pandas yelling, Tubin! <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the distinguished um, uh, jurist, I guess you would uh, Evidently, CNN was doing a dress rehearsal for election night, and they had all of their all of their correspondence on the on the Zoom. And uh, Mr. Tubin thought everything was wrapped up and done. And he's a, he is he writes about the courts, and he's a he's an attorney, yeah, amazing, and a, a giant brain, a wonderful guy. He's got uh, a great book about O.J. Simpson called "The Run of His Life." And uh, he thought he'd take some time for himself during a break. <laughs> <laughs> what was turning him on at the he time? Thought, he was uh, on the phone with someone else. Oh. Who else was on the Zoom, you think? Well, I, 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 the staffers from CNN and yeah. New Yorker. Yeah, of course. Well, he liked one of them, even at least. Correspondence from CNN, but he was talking to someone on the phone. Yeah, on a, yeah he had a separate oh phone call. Evidently, call. there are these phones. So he had a... Um, to talk to someone and it turns Was the on. phone hooked up yeah. to his computer or was it on a separate phone jack? I don't know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Tubin yesterday, in case you missed it, uh, there was a problem during a, uh, uh, a dress <laughs> rehearsal for election <laughs> night with the CNN More people. like an undress rehearsal, I'm guessing. He was uh, evidently... Uh, the reports are he was pleasuring himself, he thought, off camera and <laughs> muted, but he was neither or neither. Uh, and uh, here's O.J. Simpson. Uh, and you need to say what? what uh, Tubin read wrote, a, wrote a, the best book about the O.J. Best, murder. Yeah, absolutely. Called yeah, The Run yeah. of His Life. And O.J. felt like he had to weigh in on the situation, and here he is now. Damn, <laughs> Jeffrey Tubin. At least Pee Wee Herman was in an X-rated movie theater. <laughs> I'm just saying. Whoa. Well, here we go. Zubin <laughs> on a Monday afternoon. No idea. The cameras aren't in my room. I'm on the phone and she's getting flirty. I pull it out when she's talking. I forgot the meeting was at 2.30 to bed. <laughs> we'll now be known as spanking the ham. <laughs> Even OJ, when he heard about it, he said, Damn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you, chick. That was John. Uh, oh, was it? <laughs> was I tried. I missed it. Tubin was having at himself. While watching some fellow CNN anchor, I mean, well, oh, I think Aaron Burnett were on. I, I get ooh. exactly what was going on. Oh yeah, she's nice. She's <laughs> she's nice. Everybody, on, that might be the most guy thing you've ever said. <laughs> Aaron's, Aaron's nice. Huh? She's, she's nice. gorgeous. Especially, especially, especially next to her picture of Karl Marx. I think. I think oh, oh, I, oh, I'm muted. <laughs> To the Bob and Tom Show. It's great to be here with Chick, Josh, Ace. This is Tom speaking. Oh, wait, there's Willie right there. Hey. Mr. Godwin has his guitar out. Josh Arnold, of course, is at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick chair. The bejeweled chair reminding you to get some jewelry. Why not? I like my new idea. Put a put a nice necklace around a pumpkin. Jack o' lantern. <laughs> oh look, baby, look what I got. Oh my gosh, that pumpkin has a necklace oh, on. Oh look at that. That would sure look good on you. I don't know what it now is. Now get about dressed you and put baby. that on. I don't know what it is about you when you're sexy and you say, "Baby, I just want to punch you right in the mouth." <laughs> That's gross. Well, they, they, they missed the last part where I said, "Come on, baby, put your clothes on." Let's try.
cry on that necklace. No, it's still <laughs> you put your doing clothes it on? stupid and awful. Yeah, put your clothes on. The, the implication well, you being that you want to see her in the necklace without anything on. Yeah, you know, Christine, that's exactly the point. The thing is, <laughs> <laughs> I have an email. <laughs> Wait a minute, Christy. I got my I've got my fantasy backwards. So yeah, I'm so should get right. To, well, maybe not yeah, for none, you. I don't yeah, know. No, Gosh, if anyone's going to be naked in the driveway, it is you. <laughs> <laughs> Ironing probably. I uh, know. Well, I have been in the. I've been in my car naked. What? Today? No, not today. I've had to move a car. <laughs> have you ever had to move a car in your driveway and you just run out there quickly to get it done? And No. Yeah, but I can't do it naked. naked. The, the neighbor. I'm in my yeah. garage all the time naked with my dog, and she was like, yeah, that's fine. Right. Has no idea I'm naked. Isn't I, that I, I don't like being naked around a dog. I, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that, that hang down looks an awful, looks an awful really? lot like a sausage. <laughs> it's just so massive. And no, I just didn't have anybody. I think that it, could be a, it could be a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little teeny We have an email that here. begins, hey, you stupid idiots. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, really some respect. I had my knee replaced 10 days ago. <laughs> with, oh, with what? And did my... A dog. Just a bunch of jackals. Was it his left knee or his right knee? Or her? Um, if it's her, I can't do the weenie. Doesn't, uh... Well, she, you could. Yeah, you could. These it's days, they, they can do anything. Ask Caitlyn Jenner. Had a replace 10 days ago and did my first walk with my dogs solo today. Can Mr. McGee please give me a how about you for congratulations? Nope. <laughs> how long ago was the knee replaced? 10 days. Uh, 10 days That's ago. great. Good for 10 her. Days ago. That's amazing. Is it a her? That's a guy. Jerry. Jerry. A friend of mine had that done, couldn't drive for a month. That is a serious recovery. Good good for him. Jerry, wow. Jerry, how about you, Jerry? All right, All right Jerry, good you for go. you, buddy. Yeah. And then, uh, dear stupid idiots, a question may have been answered in the past, but is that Columbia baseball cap the only one Tom owns? <laughs> no, I've got 50 of these exactly the same. 50? No, you So don't. the answer is yes and no. Yes and no. No, I probably have 10 of them. Do you get a discount off Columbia merch? Not at all. Not at all. He just needs everyone to know that he attends not a school at all. I only in the Ivy League. I can't figure it out. <sighs> oh, sorry. I never wore a cap on the air until I had my eye surgery. These lights I can't see if I don't have it on. Sorry. I have to wear a baseball cap, but thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> you hurt his feelings. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you wear Dallas Cowboys gear here? Mm -hmm. What does that have that, to do with you that, always that wearing a Columbia oh, no. baseball cap? This is a fair question. I don't, no. <laughs> we do have nice Bob and Tom caps. I'll play along, no. I That's don't. a weird thing, I'm, isn't yeah, it? I'm not going to do that. I yeah. remember I went to see a uh, famous rock and roll guy, and he had his own T-shirt on. I thought, That's wrong. Yeah, there's something weird about it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, this is weird enough going, look at me, look at me. Oh, Pat, look. I have a Bob and Tom cap on. So people ask me questions all day. Well, that, he, he calls his hat bait is what Pat <laughs> Bob and Oh, yeah, why, well, yes, I do work I for just, the Bob and Tom. I walk in singing. Uh -huh. Hello, ladies. <laughs> well, hello, ladies. Nobody has people. I like that logo. Anymore. It looks like a gas station logo. Oh, thank you. It's one of my favorites. So Ohio? Uh, Remember so Ohio? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, uh, we have uh, a story that we'll get to a song, I guess, if you want to do it in that order. Police in Kansas have, at, well, that's generally how we do it. If you'd rather do the song first. If you first. played back what you just said, you would go, Tom doesn't want to do a song. <laughs> He's not really You kidding. said, well, do a song. I guess. <laughs> well, I wanted want to do the song do. earlier, but you guys objected so much we ran out of time. He didn't. That's not what I'll I explain how radio works later off the air. Oh. You know, that used to upset me when then I realized <laughs> you don't know how anything works, let alone radio. <laughs> so, I'm kind of uh, we have certain, uh, kind of content. Certain Go ahead, Chris. Policing that... Police in Kansas have apprehended a naked teenager covered in ranch dressing, according to investigators. <laughs> boy or girl, I need to know how hot year old boy <laughs> was under the influence Mary. of a substance when he Chris allegedly said. damaged merchandise. Let's make him 18 years old. Petro Deli in Shawnee early on Saturday. Saturday. This is slow down, slow down. So we've got a naked boy, 17 years, well, naked young man, 17 years of age. Yes. This is weird. He's in a deli, the Petro Deli. Right. The teen ran outside, jumped into a running car, which he then crashed into a nearby pillar. Shawnee County Sheriff's Office deputies took the unnamed teen to a local hospital for treatment before he was released into the custody of his parents. Yikes. He may face criminal charges related to the incident. And he was covered in ranch? That's what oh, it says. Jeffrey Dahmer's wet dream. Oh, <laughs> oh. man. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Now, you can see... Totally this, worth it. Yeah, this, you can story. see how something like this could happen. I mean, Josh, I mean, when you were 17, <laughs> those were your... 
salad days. I knew that was <laughs> That's right. Uh, I wonder, was his Hidden Valley exposed? Does uh, it doesn't say, it say that? It doesn't say, well, I was naked. I would assume yes. Could be part of a Halloween costume. Yeah. Maybe his buddy dressed as the chicken wing ditched the cops. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nigel, where? <laughs> so uh, we do have a tribute to ranch dressing from Mr. Gunn. Dear ranch dressing, I love you so I wrote this letter. I know that you're bad for me, but everything dip. Then you taste better carrots. Oh, better. <laughs> Broccoli, mm, much better. <laughs> Dry salads, practically inedible. But with you on top, it's incredible. It's all true. Celery would be healthy and depressing without you ranch dressing. I think the ranch dressing people are going to buy this one. <laughs> That is selling it. Dear ranch dressing, I tell my friends they ought to try it. I miss you on a slice of pizza. Those two days in May when I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo wings. Oh, better. True. Doritos. Much better. I'll lick you up forever, pala. Put it on my girlfriend's hidden valley. Oh, Your buttery, milky goodness I savor. Even on kale, it enhances the flavor. Some would say I'm obsessing. Dear ranch dressing. Yours truly, Josh Arnold. Hey, what the heck? Oh! oh. Hold me back. Oh, <laughs> boy. Hold me back. <laughs> Coming up, uh, we have a huge story uh, from the world of Tiger King, uh, and I just handed it to Christy, so I know you... Oh, it's a show. We can't get to it. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Donnie, how are you, sir? Good. Nobody cares about the Tiger King. Ain't nobody, nobody going to ask me about my trip. What trip? What trip? I didn't know you went on a trip. Well, after hearing incessantly about how much fun Josh had on his trip to the Ozarks, mm -hmm. I figured I'd take with me the Ozarks for fall break. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Good for you. Awesome. Well, that and part of me is hoping I run into that dirty talking tenderoni with the hot box perm from Ozarks. That, oh. that one got to have. Remember, she got hired on by Marty Burt or uh, uh, Justin Bateman. Uh huh. No, no, no. Jason Bateman is the one on the show. Justine, I believe, is his sister from Family Ties, right? That's right. Oh, yeah. No, that's Michael J. Fox, Tom. No. Oh, no I, well, never mind. We, we can all agree, disagree. That's Anyways, right. me and Lucy <laughs> hop into my cousin Lonnie's 93 GMC Sonoma. Mm -hmm. Right. Popped in my Skinner cassette, and we road tripped all the way to the Ozarks. Ah, uh, great, really? uh, great father-son trip. Wow. Sounds good. Figured it was the family time I took Lucy noodling for catfish. That's a great idea. Trip. Thanks. Ah. I would love fresh seafood. You, you should have seen the look on his face when I told him we was going noodling. He was static. I mean, um... Ecstatic. Stat whatever. <laughs> However you say it, Christy. He is super excited. And things are going really pretty good on the trip. I haven't taught him how to go to the restroom in an empty Gatorade bottle. Perfect. Oh, yeah, but spoiler alert, uh, looking back, I probably should explain to him first that you only use it for number one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, then, oh. you think that about, about halfway through, Missouri car runs out of gas. I had to get out and push while Whippy steered us to an exit. Oh, wow. Well. Well, it ain't my fault we ran out of gas. My idiot cousin Lonnie, mm -hmm. his his gas meter has been broke ever since he got <laughs> T-boned by uh, the Wienermobile in the summer of 05. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. I swear to God. T-boned by a 12-foot wiener. Talk about iconic. <laughs> I swear to God. I think you mean ironic, Donnie. We can all agree to disagree, Tom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we finally make it there and search for over an hour trying to find a perfect spot for doodling. Right. And right then, as soon as we get set up, Whiffy has to go again. 
So now I got to teach him the art of taking the aqua dump. Oh, oh. Well, Josh Arnold perfected that. <laughs> well, Josh, I don't know how you use your methods. You know, everybody's different, sort of like a batting stance. I get right next to him on the shore. <laughs> yes. We both grab some brush. He, you know, leans his little honey off the side of the oh, bank. Gosh. I lean my first. I mean, I'm I'm a mentor by nature. <laughs> right. Right. Sure. You know? I'm like, keep out of the water. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you don't want a snapping turtle going after your pula popper. No. Oh. Of course, timing, you know, we had no idea. My cousin Ronnie's napping. You know, he should have been spotting for us. It's right when the damn DNR officer comes baiting past. Mm. He thinks we're hitting him with a double moon right to his face. <laughs> <laughs> So the only thing I ended up catching in those arcs was a $285 ticket and a December court date for indecent exposure. Oh, <laughs> hey, Pat Godwin. Yes. I know this sort of thing happens to you once a week. You got that number of a good defense attorney in Missouri? I do, Donnie. I'll give it to you off the air. I'll hang up and take the answer off the air. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Batting stance. Yeah. 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 Good to know for the aqua dump. Since when am I the one that knows what's going on? <laughs> Josh, right now? And I, Josh and I were having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see where was I. Uh, I'll go. Um, I'll go this way. We'll start with Ace Cosby, our engineer, the voice, the man. Show him how you do it, Ace. Just real quick. It's time. Oh, oh wow. my goodness! Oh, women pulling off the road. <laughs> Jeffrey Tubin. Hey. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. There's Chick McGee across the way at the sports desk. How about you? Then, as my eyes go to the right, I see Josh Arnold at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick desk and chair. It's a set. <laughs> it is. Then I see Jess Hooker. Now, Jess, I want you to confirm my idea. You carve a pumpkin <laughs> and throw a nice uh, necklace around it from my friend Steven Singer and then go, hey, baby. Why don't you uh, <laughs> put on I, your clothes and we'll... I don't know if that know. voice is necessary. I like the idea. I don't know sorry. if you have to do the voice. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, Christy Lee is um, equally disgusted. Yeah. She is, uh, <laughs> she's sitting at the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. Have you, have you ever like, used that uh, voice in a serious tone with anyone that means a lot to you? I'm a, gentleman, a gentleman never discusses this sort of thing. Uh, this is Tom speaking. Oh, yes, buddy. Uh, since yeah, a means... gentleman's not available, I'll, I'll talk. <laughs> and then uh, my son, Willie G, is right there. Hey, Willie. Can we get a bucket that says, hey, baby, on it, and whenever he's gross, I can puke in it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, bucket. I mean, that is the most disgusting oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, baby. Uh, then there's hey, Mr. Baby. Pat Godwin. Hi. Now, Pat, um, uh, interestingly enough, you have had uh, serious relationships, long-term relationships, <laughs> with uh, several women that all have the same first name just by chance. Yeah, Kim. Mm -hmm. You talk about it often. You you actually had a Kim tattoo covered up with a rather amateurish uh, bat signal. Yeah. yeah. And then you that met, he still has on his body. Then you met, just yet an, met yet another Kim. Just out of curiosity, <laughs> you don't have to say which Kim or which... Did you ever have a um, little name for one of your... Uh, was it always Kim or would you say baby or uh, lover or you know, sweet, darling? Sweetie, or, Kimmy, you know, sweetie. stuff like that. <laughs> Kimmy. Typical stuff, you know. <laughs> Honey. Because you're a very creative guy. I was wondering oh, if you had anything, you. anything very special. No, nothing very special. Have you ever written a song for any of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we must. Oh, he oh, wrote oh. a song for a girl he met at CVS a couple of weeks ago. Remember that? Of you course have, he wrote a song. The one I wrote about my ex, you'd have to bleep uh, a lot of that. Ah. Uh, no. Yeah, she's I wrote a lot lovely, of stuff. Lovely woman. You just yeah. didn't hit it off necessarily. No, we are getting along great now, yeah. Oh, she's, she's She's, uh -huh. she's, she's bright, really just are. like you. She's made a few mistakes. <laughs> well, she made a big one. But <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> one of her mistakes can talk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Running around, we can't get that mistake to stay in school. I don't know. Never mind. No, 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 not that one. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I was way <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you're uh, I was making fun of my friend Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah she not his son. Uh, right. Of course not. <laughs> now, where were we? Um, uh, in, we promised, oh, this is a thing that I thought you'd like, Josh, because you are uh, a big fan of uh, scary movies. I am not. I get terrified at scary movies. So I don't even go to them. I'm yeah. not a fan either. And I, I do get scared, but I love it. I don't yeah. mind being scared. I just don't like the gore. When they flipped to the gory, 
Gotcha. Not my thing. Gotcha. But if you've ever wondered which horror film has is the scariest, there apparently is a scientific answer for you. Huh. A team working with broadband choices in the UK curated a list of the 50 best horror films ever made and had study participants watch the movies while wearing heart rate monitors. Scott Derrickson's, oh, I don't want to, should I say who? Well, I just gave it away, but. I was watching this one last night. Is it on your top five list? It's not, but I. Sinister. Yeah. Sinister oh. was deemed the scariest out of all 50 films. Sinister. It's Gosh. a creepy one. I've never even heard of. Viewers experiencing the greatest difference in heart rate at 32% from an average resting heart rate of 65 beats per minute versus 86 BPM while watching the movie. Can you say what it's about without ruining Sinister. it? I can. Uh, Ethan Hawke is a true crime writer, and he moves into a house where a true crime uh, happened, and he, he discovers these uh, videos, the, these sort of Super 8 films, and he, he rigs a projector, and he watches them, and as he watches them, he realizes they are videos of murders that have taken place hmm. in that home, and there's a... Um, uh, a demon that Ooh. appears in every video, and he's trying to figure out oh. what the heck is going on. At the biggest jump scare, Josh, viewers experienced a spike of 131 beats per minute. Wow. Yeah. Mm. The second place film, do you want to read your list, and I'll tell you. These are the are the five, um, well, I have seven written, but I'll, I'll okay. Uh, these are the movies that scared me the most okay. when, I, when I first saw them. Okay. Uh, the Exorcist. Yeah. Love Story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you watch that and, and uh, Ally McGraw is such a bee in that movie. Hey, this is his list, not yours. Sorry, uh, I was just... Gandhi, the guy wouldn't eat. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, ladies. <laughs> Gandhi 2.0, this terrifying. time he had a sandwich. I'm sorry, so what was the first one? The Exorcist. That's the Exorcist. your scariest? Oh, this is in no particular order. Okay, okay. Oh. Um, but it's absolutely one of the scariest movies I've ever I seen. I think he asked you to do it in, in, in order. order. That's a, that doesn't matter. Go oh, ahead. You're uh, flying in the face of Mr. Griswold. That's Halloween, okay. the 1978 Halloween. Uh, Insidious. Mm -hmm. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alien. And Juon, which is a Japanese horror film. How do you spell it? J-U hyphen O-N. Oh. And it became the grudge here in America. But, gotcha. Uh,